हेलो एवरीवन सो इन अवर टुडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बल्क स्टोरेज टाइप व्हाट इज द बल्क स्टोरेज टाइप हियर आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट द सेम ऑन द बोर्ड सो वी हैव द बल्क स्टोरेज टाइप when we have some kind of requirement in the warehouse for an example if we have the bags bags like if you go and some sometimes you see we have the some kind of bags which in the form of like for an example we can consider like cement bag or rice bags okay or wheat bag some kind of the bags when we put the material in the form of bag in the warehouse in the bulk area like very big space we call in the another form like go down so we take this uh, storage type as a bulk storage type here i will demonstrate suppose so our topic today topic is demo topic is bulk storage type with bulk storage indicator or bulk storage structure okay in the short form i put struct okay so suppose you have the cement bag okay cement bag you have the some kind of rice bags for an example our requirement we want to put these bags in the warehouse how we put this bag and suppose we have this kind of bag in the bulk quantity not a small quantity in the bulk at a lot so we have the bags how we we will manage this so in that situation we will implement in the warehouse bulk storage type okay so when we require to put bulk uh, for an example bags kind of bags in the warehouse bulk quantity then we use bulk storage type so bags could be like for an example in the form of like this some of the bags okay in the form of this height okay some bags cement bags is it looks like this some rice bags it looks like this okay but those all are the bags and we have in the warehouse bulk quantity so we are going to manage this and i will show you how to manage this in the advanced extended warehouse management with the complex warehouse scenarios how we do this okay so so suppose i will demonstrate you suppose this is your warehouse here you have one area which is the bulk area okay this suppose this is the this is the top shed of your warehouse okay this is the big warehouse area and this is the for ventilation this areas and here we want to put bulk like around 5000 quantity okay 10000 quantity bags cement bags so then bulk storage process comes into the picture so how we manage this uh, bags here for an example one bag two bag three bag four bag five bag another bag another bag another bag another bag we put another bag like in the same way same form we put multiple bags on top of okay okay we have one permanent storage type in our warehouse which is the bulk storage type right we are going to put here a lots of rice bags 10000 20000 quantity or cement bags for an example okay how system will come to know this specific storage type is bulk storage type so in the configuration we use the one technique one concept which is the bulk storage structure or storage type with we use the bulk storage indicator bulk storage indicator how system will come to know this is the bulk storage type in the configuration when we going to define a storage type we have the different kind of options there like bulk storage we select the high rack storage we select the pallet storage we select the open storage type we select for the fast moving slow moving depends upon the business 
so in that situation in this our example so you will find this kind of example with screenshots with descriptions how we in the complex warehouse uh, some of the processes in my books so i have my book in front of me so but this is the demo from my book and my like uh, configuration videos which i have like into end how we do like this so bulk storage indicator denotes that this storage type is nothing but a bulk storage type so when we put the bags like this in the same form so that means see carefully this this is the space the bag occupies this is nothing but a bin these are the bin storage bin these are the storage bins so here we need to uh, in the configuration define the same like for an example uh, we have the some kind of storage bin and here we can see these are the rows these are the row so generally what how we consider bin 1 bin 2 bin 3 bin 4 like like level or we consider level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 level 6 okay here we design like this is the bin storage bin okay and this is the stack rows okay stack 1 stack 2 stack 3 generally Generally in the warehouse, we have the storage type for an example. We have the storage type. Suppose this is a storage type. Two storage type in front of each other for an example. Okay. So generally how we define the bins? Stacks. Stack 1. Stack 2. Stack 3. Stack 4. Stack 5. Stack zigzag. But here this is the different uh, way to define. But this area we use consider as an storage bins so in that situation we use the bulk storage type this is demo over the bulk storage type we have the configurations we have the complex configurations so and solutions so now i'm going to discuss about the pallet storage type what is the pallet storage type so suppose in your in our warehouse we have the different kind of storage type like long very tall very long tall we call this is the high racks we have we have some kind of fixed bin storage type we have some kind of bulk storage type so pallet storage type we use the situation in which suppose i have different different types of handling unit types okay suppose i have a uh, different kind of handling units the different size different uh, type of with the like width we have the different one meter two meter three meter four meter for an example we have the handling unit in that situation we use the pallet storage type to manage the complex handling units with the different sizes in the optimal way we use the pallet storage type so pallet storage type we use the situation in which suppose we have different type i am reading from my book which i wrote so then you will come to know how is my book like how is like the way so so pallet storage type we use a situation in which suppose i have different types of handling units such as 2 meter 1 meter 3 meter handling unit means pallet, full pallet, full HU. 3 meter pallet, 4 meter pallet, or for an example, 3 meter, 2 meter, 1 meter. Okay. And we have the bin size, we have in the storage type different, different. Sometimes we have 1 meter bin, and some, somewhere I have the 2 meter bin, and I have the flexible in the warehouse to put the 2 meter pallet as well as situation in the pallet. Okay. So suppose we have different kind of storage bins. Suppose in your warehouse you have 3 meters bins. You have the pallet sizes 1 meter and 2 meter and 3 meters. How can you put? You can put in the 3 meter. You can put 3 meter. In the 3 meter bin you can put a 3 meter. So, so now our topic is pallet storage type. So when we use pallet storage type 
पैलेट स्टोरेज टाइप वी यूज वेन वी हैव डिफरेंट साइजेस ऑफ कंप्लीट फुल एच यू इन अवर वेयर हाउस सपोज आई हैव वन सपोज दिस आई हैव सेवेंटी क्वान्टिटी दिस काइंड ऑफ हैंडलिंग यूनिट आई हैव टू हंड्रेड क्वान्टिटीज फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल दिस काइंड ऑफ हैंडलिंग यूनिट वी हैव थर्टी क्वान्टिटीज सो सपोज दिस इज वन मीटर दिस इज टू मीटर दिस इज थ्री मीटर ऑफ विथ हाउ वी विल मैनेज दिस इन अवर वेयर हाउस सो वी मै वी इन अवर वेयर हाउस वी वी क्रिएट द स्टोरेज टाइप विद लाइक we divide the bins into the different sections there we where we put like this kind of handling units so uh, how to manage this exactly how we can create through the configuration we do the same so i will define some of the for an example i will give you here so i have suppose pallet bin which is a 1 meter pallet bin means this bin contains 1 meter of handling unit okay i take 9 for man so like for 001 okay or like uh, meter you can take meter of uh, bin 001 this is my or i will take here b i 01 okay then you will understand more bin 01 and i have pallet another pallet bin in in our uh, warehouse we have the storage type where we have different kind of bins so 3 meter bin Three zero three. Okay, this is my bin name. Bin name. Suppose where we put the exact pallet. This is the bin name. Okay, this is the bin name. Now, the third is actually pallet bin. We have two meter. Okay. Suppose this is the B two zero two for an example. So, so suppose this is the Two meter of the bin. See carefully here. Now see the logic. Two meter of the bin can hold one meter plus one meter, two pallets in it, or two meter one pallet, isn't it? So this bin will hold pallet bin two meter bin B zero two zero two, one meter plus one meter two pallet. It can hold. or 2 2 meter 1 pallet it can hold now come to the 3 meter so suppose you have the 3 meter bin it can hold 1 meter plus 1 meter plus 1 meter 2 meter plus 1 meter or 3 meter like this 3 meter of the bin b b303 can hold 1 1 meter 3 pallet 2 meter 1 pallet and 1 meter 1 pallet or 3 meter single 1 pallet like in the same 3101 can hold only 1 meter meter means width this this size we i am considering here this width okay bin width so it can hold <coughs> so till yet we have seen in the very complex big warehouse if we have the multiple size of handling units so no need to worries we can manage all the handling units in the warehouse through the technique we call concept pallet storage type so this is the concept and uh, for an example now suppose i have in my warehouse storage type there i have one bin another bin and another bin okay this is the bin okay this is bin you can consider so bin or you can take bin 202 b303 you can consider 3 meter 2 meter 
B101. This is the bin. So in the system, we define the bin for an example 01, 01, 01, forward slash. Here I will put 3. So like this is the template we use to defining the bin in the configuration like else stack level and bin name okay here i put the three for bin name like or we can take m1 and th so this will hold three meter of the parrot this bin name i will give in the configuration for an example i already given in my book zero one forward slash one meter so zero one zero one uh, zero one forward slash uh, three meter sorry sorry Here should be two. Okay. So this bin will be able to hold at runtime only one meter width of pallet. This three meter bin can be able to hold one two meter pallet, one one meter pallet. Or this bin can hold one meter, one meter, one meter, three pallets, one meter, one meter. This is logically you can see. Or this bin can hold one meter. Uh, sorry, this bin can hold one single three meter of the three meter of the pallet full HU inside it. Now my question is: Is it possible? Can I put uh, in this in this uh, bin three meter, two meter, three meter or one meter or two meter, two meter, two? Suppose if I want to put here two meter, two meter, two pallets, it's not possible because the maximum size of the bin is three meter. So this is the implementation demo guys, how we manage the complex HUs. In this bin, I can, can I put like two meter pallet, three meter not, not possible. Only it will hold at one meter pallet. In the two meter, I can put one meter, one meter, two pallets or one, two meter. Can I put here three meter pallet? Not possible, okay? So this is the way to manage the uh, handling units so so I will uh, take the for an example in this bin I am going to put for an example boxes which is the like for an example pallet okay 10 boxes one pallet contains 10 boxes 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so this we design in the system, okay? And in the pallet, like for an example here, two meter, I will take, uh, it will hold like three meters of uh, pallet, two meter pallet like 20 cases. Here I will put the cases. Here I will put the boxes, okay? So cases for an example, I have that because bin size is uh, depends, uh, 20 cases, okay? Here I will put the 10 boxes boxes 10 here i will put the 20 cases how into 20 so you can consider this is this is nothing but a hu okay full hu this is in one